Welcome to Bytes of Code. In this video, we're going to be talking about installing Visual Studio Code and setting it up to run specifically with Python. Now, what we've been using in our tutorials is an online IDE called Replit. That's the name of the website, replit.com. And an online IDE is great for getting started. You don't have to install anything. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to configure anything. You just go ahead and start coding and you click run and everything is just going to be already set up for you. And that's great for learning, especially at the beginning. But as we move on, we want to learn how to download and install and configure an IDE on our computer because there's limitations that an online IDE just won't be able to do that. We want to be able to have more control and more flexibility. So we are eventually going to need to download an IDE. In this case, we're taking a look at Visual Studio Code. This is a great IDE. I think it's really lightweight and I've seen many, many people use it for Python. I've used it for, for Python a couple of times and it's worked fine. So take a look at visualstudio.com and I'll send a link in the description. When you get there, click on your operating system. It'll download the executable. So when you've downloaded the installer, go ahead and run it. Uh, you can read through the terms and conditions if you want, or you can just not read it and click next and agree. Uh, choose a location where you want to install it. Pretty much just continue through this installer like any other installer. I like to create a desktop icon and just we'll wait for it to do its thing. Once it's done, we'll go ahead and launch Visual Studio Code. Here you can choose different themes, uh, light, light contrast, dark, high contrast. We're just going to stick with dark. There's nothing else that I want to do here, so I'm just going to go to the next section that's at the bottom. It shows a little arrow next section. I'm actually not going to do any of what it's telling me. I'm, it's trying to help me out, but I kind of just want to finish the install. So we're just going to click next section, next section, mark done. And finally, we're here, Visual Studio Code. So the main goal is let's start with getting Python to run on Visual Studio Code. So you can notice here that Visual Studio Code uses tabs. It also has this left hand column, left side column, and this is going to be the main area of navigation. Settings are at the bottom, account at the bottom also, but this top left area is going to be the main area for navigation. The place I'm going to go to first is the Explorer because I want to get started with making a new Python file. So we could do new file here also. So let's go ahead and open a folder. I have one set up already. It doesn't have anything in it, but we're going to go ahead and use this folder. Yes, I trust, I trust, I trust everybody. Uh, so let's actually now, we have our folder. We notice here, this is again the navigation. So once we have our Explorer set up, you notice again that this is on the left side. Uh, there's navigation, or I should say toggling navigation towards the top, where you can choose to hide different types of displays. And you can even kind of set your own custom layout. But usually the main basic one is going to be the Explorer and also the bottom, which is going to be their output. This will be where your errors will show up, where your debugger will show up. Uh, so we'll just have kind of this view where we have the left side and the bottom showing. Uh, we have our folder here, bytes of code Python, but we don't have any files. So let's go ahead and make a test Python file. And let's do something very simple. You can do F5 is a shortcut to run the script or your file. You can also go to run and start debugging. You see here it is saying F5 also. Run without debugging. This is just if you don't want Visual Studio Code to kind of debug for you and set up the environment for debugging. So this is just to run the application like a normal user. But usually if you're here, we're kind of interested in debugging. So most of the time we'll be doing F5 or start debugging. So we're going to go ahead and just do start debugging now. And Visual Studio is pretty smart. It recognizes that we don't have Python kind of set up to debug. So let's go ahead and click this find Python extension. It's going to give us basically a list of extensions that we can install. And we're going to go ahead and install Python right here at the top. Now, if you were to do this without going through some of those steps, what you would want to do is go towards the bottom here, which is kind of like their store, it's their extensions area, and you can type on Python, 
or type Python in the search box here, and you will should see this also Python, and it will tell you some information, the version number and everything like that, the date updated. But this is the one that we're going to be installing now, and we can see here it's installing. So let's give it a second. So now it's done. It says it finished installing. It no longer shows that it is installing. And we also have this kind of get started. Let's expand this a bit. We have a get started tab for Python, create Python file, save it as .py, create Python environment. Okay, so that's all great. Let's go ahead and just close this get started tab. Go back to our explorer so we can see where we have our test.py file. Let's do a run again. And we can actually do it from right here. And we see now that we have our output. So Python is running in Visual Studio Code. If you're interested in debugging it, let's give an example for a debug. Let's make a variable uh, called test string. So what we have there is just a simple example to come and kind of demonstrate the debugging. What you can do is on the left hand side, and if you use IDEs before you're kind of maybe already familiar with this practice is just creating a breakpoint. And this is just an area to tell the code to stop. Now we want to take a look at the code. Stop right here. We're going to kind of see some of the variables. Let's see what's going on and determine if we should continue. Let's take a look at what happens. If we click run, you'll notice nothing happens. We print test hello. This is showing that this is our new code, but it didn't stop at my breakpoint because we need to show or we need to select in Visual Studio Code that we want to debug Python file. So that's very important at the top right, we can say, uh, would be debug Python file. And we can see how kind of things have changed a little bit. Uh, the icon for running is different. We have a different kind of section, run and debug. Uh, so when we click that run or when we click debug Python file, we've actually stopped and it's highlighted yellow to signal that we've actually stopped here and we're waiting to some of the options are continue, step over, step into, step out, restart or stop the program entirely. Uh, so for example, we can see in our output, we've run line number one, we've stopped at line number four, let's step. So now we're at line number six, we're at the next piece of code. And we can hover over our test str variable and we can see the value. And this is helpful with uh, definitely other types of variables and especially objects, and especially classes. So this is a real easy way to kind of see what's going on inside the variables and inside your code. Let's do one more step that's assigning our test2 variable. And you can see kind of our variables being set on the side here in this window on the left. And our last line of code, I'm expecting it just to say hello, because that is the value of test str. So we'll finish the last line of code, and it says hello. So now you are ready to run your own Python scripts in Visual Studio Code. I hope this video really helped you out. If you have any problems or concerns setting this up, just go ahead and leave me a comment. I will respond to you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please drop a like, and I hope to see you at the next video.